No, I like Heath. He, <laughs> I'm not really the. Right. I can do it, but it's like. No, Kelly, start. Okay. You hey! <laughs> we are back. I'm Chris Roberts. This is Roger Bagley. <laughs> back at it again. It's your boy Steezus here with my good homie, Kelly Hart. You already know. If you see us at this table, you see a shoebox, you know we're here to talk about some shoes. And we got a good one for you today. This is the PL Volk Pro from Converse Cons. Stay tuned. We're back again. We don't know what the show's called, but we got we got shoes and we talk about them. And I'm here with Jesus Christ. I'm yeah. Kelly Hart. Glad to be back with you. Glad to be back. We yeah. got shoes and we're here to talk about them. That's that's the name of the show from now on. Let's go. Or for this one. Um, no, but we're we're excited to be back here again. We've been talking about shoes that we really love and shoes that we grew up on, seeing in videos and just it, it, out in the wild. And this one is one we definitely saw yeah. with a newer colorway coming out with Dial Tumble from Converse Cons. The inspiration behind it comes from the old. Um, it was the shoe that Dr. J played in yep. in the. I want to say the 76, 77 season. Oh, okay. The reason I try to remember because he played for the 76ers. So it's kind of like you're trying to. I'm, oh, I try wow. And, like, the numbers. Find, the numbers. Yeah. The, num <laughs> the numbers, Duke. Yeah. The numbers. That's amazing. Um, but I think that's what it's the PL Volk. Damn it. That's what the pro leather. That's pro what leather Volk. So the pro leather was originally, uh, yeah, what Dr. J played in back in the day. And real quick, before we even get into this, the fact that, and look, I know guys. Big brands come into skateboarding, people feel some type of way about it. I hear you, I understand. But the fact that a brand like this who's had Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Dr. J, yeah. and now like for them to continue on in the skateboarding, and you got Louis Lopez, uh, Bobby DeKaiser, you got so many legendary people from multiple areas of just life. Yep. Like, you gotta pay respect, and you gotta you gotta give them their flowers because they're doing it right. They're doing it right, and they're using their original silhouettes, that they, like Dr. J. Exactly. This is a silhouette that they've had since the nineteen seventy six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it, it's funny because I would hear these stories back in the day of like, you know, I would see Guy Mariano skating them in those shoes, and you know, John Wilson, all the girl guys, yeah. and I would hear that. Someone at Converse would just send boxes of full of shoes. Like, hey, what size is everyone? Just send Dr. J's one stars, send it to girl. And that's then, like, so sick. this is like when they were filming for like Goldfish and like Mouse and stuff right. like that. Because um, that's when skateboard shoes, like, there wasn't any skater on brand shoes back mm -hmm. then at that point. Maybe right around Mouse started, there was like, you know, right. like they had S and, and Ennies and stuff. But skaters were just getting shoes from people that's so and like, dope. and just wearing them and not having really. Like slowly they got sponsored, and right. I just heard that there was like a pro shoe the guy Mariano was gonna have that never came out because Roger Bagley. Could you imagine? Yeah, Roger Bagley was TM back then, right. and he knew all about it. So, yeah. and also, I mean, we're gonna get into these. We're gonna, yeah. I know the suspense is probably killing <laughs> you, uh, but growing up, Converse was around in skateboarding with um, like the Shanty One. Oh yeah, that thing was just a beefy. Like oh, that, well, helium. The, no, 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 Shady one. Was, Shady one was, was, was indestructible. Shady one was indestructible. It had yeah. the big plastic star and stripe on the side, and yeah. then the helium ones. I remember seeing those, and that was um, oh, Modus. Yeah, Modus. Yeah, yeah. Seeing so that, he's getting those helium skating ones. Getting the helium ones. Yeah. And obviously, it was a gimmick, but the fact that I was like, damn, I kind of like, I want some shoes that got helium in them. Like maybe this will. A lot of skate shops back then where I grew up didn't really have Converse. Those, you had yeah. to go to the outlet. So, oh, like wow. I would I would go to the Converse outlets and I would get uh was it the El Duque? It was Felix's <laughs> shoe, the yep. El Duque. I got that shoe for like twenty five bucks at the outlet and I was so hyped. These shoes uh, should we pull the shoes out for? I uh, think we should. Okay, I, we, before we, we get you, so people can reference what we're yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah. we've yeah. taken enough of your time. Yeah, Let's... yeah. Here we go. So here we go. Wait, so we just got we just got notice right now. Breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> Christian Asoy once rode for Converse. This is way back. Wow. And it was a photo out of him butt naked covering <laughs> up his stuff. And then all he had was his shoes and it said it's all you need. Genius marketing. Genius. If you ask me. Yeah. yeah. Just... I mean, it's, it's all you need is shoes. It's all you need. It's got to be. So these are the PL Volk Pro. New colorway, and what what colorway is this, would you say? Oh man, that's actually a great question. So this for me, I think, it's like a mix between a forest green and a Kelly green. So it's like a, I, I don't know the actual. What does it say in the box? Does it say in the box? Oh, I'm sure it does, let's see. 
Mint. Vintage Jade. Vintage Jade. Vintage I, Jade. Now that I, yes. I was just going to say that. I, I, was, I, I felt was, you were. I yeah, was yeah. like, this is Vintage Jade. I could tell that's what you were thinking, but you yeah. wanted to be 100% sure. I just wasn't sure. sure. I, was, I didn't want to sound crazy. No, no, no. I, mean? sure I didn't respect yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I like, you know, just the texture of it. Uh, Dude, the hairy suede. Hairy suede. I mean, on, on some real just like sneakerhead stuff, that is... I don't know, man. It's something about the way the hairy sweat, like depending on which way you brush it. Oh yeah, it kind of changes the colors and yeah, adds a little dude. contrast. Like that, I just I respect that so much. No, that's dope. And uh, I mean, I think skateboarders, you know, they prefer suede. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like the go-to. Yeah, like yeah, not everyone, yeah. but you know, I think a majority of skateboarders go right to the Absolutely. suede. Absolutely. And what's cool because this is like you know this is based off the Dr. J. Well, so, the pro leather, which yeah. was. We'll say it was made famous by Dr. J. Okay, for okay. sure. Yeah. There we go. What I love about this is that, a, a, it's like it's such a classic silhouette, but like the toe is like short, mm. but mm -hmm. it's still like a long. Like everything is proportionally yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's yeah. not like this long shoe with a long toe. Exactly, and it, it's not stubby. Yes. Like it, it has that like, it's got the right shape to it too. It's not too pointy. It's not too like rounded out. It, it's it's actually yeah really good. Actually, mentioned that. Uh, like I was saying, I, I would see guy and those dudes skate in these shoes back in the day. It was mm -hmm. the all black ones, and I always thought they were super sick. But yeah, they weren't really selling them in the skate market back then. Right. They yeah. were just seeding out randomly the those shoes to like certain like companies, mm -hmm. and they were dispersing the and riders. The companies, yeah. And then when they started the actual skate program, they actually started. They wanted to do tech shoes. Right. They wanted. They didn't want this in the skate market. Which is so wild because I mean we've touched on it before. Like the times are different. You yeah. Know? Like yeah. this, at that time, was probably what a lot of those guys wanted. Yeah. But then they come in and they see, you know, especially a brand like that where they have access to so much technology and they're able to try and implement that and bring it yeah. into a new area like skateboarding. I understand the mentality behind it, but I think in the beginning, listening to the people that you're putting in those positions as as team writers or yeah. even the, the team managers, like, this is what they wanted. And obviously it all comes full circle and they're back around to it now and you see what Converse Cons is doing. But, yeah, for them to go super tech right out the gate, it's... I don't know, I think a, a lot of brands were probably trying to cater to what they saw other people doing and what other brands were, you know, what was working for other brands. You know, early 2000s, it was all, who's getting the most tech? Exactly. Teched out right. thing you could do, like yep. helium shoes. Dude, I kidding? know, when you like, think about it, that's kind of wild. It's <laughs> wild, it's awesome. Like, I love that people are trying to innovate and make something yeah. new happen, and people are still trying to do that. But it's, it's amazing though, right? Something so simple and so mm -hmm. classic is what works. Yep. It, you don't have to get the craziest. Classic for a reason. You don't have to get inject helium into your <laughs> into your shoes to make it the best skate shoe. Nah, totally. It's, it's like you know, it's like it's the things that make people happy, and it's a shoe like this that like it's classic, it's simple, mm -hmm. and you look down at it and you feel good, and it skates good. Exactly. And then you look at guys like Louis Lopez now who are writing things similar to this, and the the way he looks. Yeah. is a part of the total package, you yeah. know? And I could never imagine him having a big bulky pair of Converse on his yeah. feet. Like, so for that, just the being able to see yourself in one of your favorite skaters and then being like, oh yeah, I can go to the shop and grab like, grab one of those two and it just, it feels good, it looks good. And my thing, I, we've discussed this before, a shoe that you can wear uh, in, in a multitude of like ways. So for example, you can wear this one with shorts to the beach. Yep. Or you can wear this one with like a nice pair of chinos or yep. it's just so many different ways because it has a classic silhouette and the way that it sits, it's just, you can't go wrong with something like this. No, it's butter. It comes with two different laces. It's this and the vintage jade. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the jade uh, laces. Yeah, so you, so you got, got two tone. options. You got yep. two options. I kind of, I I'm like the contrast. You, yeah, but that's what I was gonna say. What's your, what's your preference? You know what? I, I'm usually not. I don't like too much contrast in my shoes mm -hmm. too often. But sometimes I don't know. Like to me, this looks old school, so I this like it. This looks classic. Yeah, like yep. so. I'm like, oh, I, I like it. But so I'm on the same tip as you. For me, I prefer my laces to be tonal to my tongue. So yeah. it's, it's just one of those things. Like you look down and. I don't know, even if it's just like, you lace it properly, but like one's a little off a little bit, you can notice that a lot more. Yeah. But with uh, just the tonal laces, I feel like it looks a lot more clean. However, on a classic shoe like this, I feel like you have to go with the white laces. Also, since this is uh, a collaboration with Dial Tone Wheels, you got like the little landline phone on the bottom on the outsole. Like, a little cool I, little commercial they did for dude, it. Dude, it was so sick. And I love that this, so if you look at the shoe from you know these regular angles like this, 
not, not sus nothing suspecting. Like, it's a vintage jade and white shoe. Yeah. And bam. Hit you with a little bubble gum on the bottom. Ooh, a little bubble gum. A little bubble gum. A little bubble gum on the bottom. I love that, man. We and love bubble gum on the bottom. We love bubble gum. Well, not the, not, <laughs> if you step in bubble gum, it's a little different. The bubble gum when bottom. The, when you know the bubble gum bottom comes out the box like that, we rocking with that, though. <laughs> no, nah, but it gives it a little bit of uh, a flair because, you know, when you do, when brands do collaborations, sometimes I, I can only imagine uh, there's stipulations on things that they can do as far as colorways and yeah. materials and things like that. So when you have a brand that can have a little bit more creativity but not take away from the true essence of the shoe i love that so much even on the the insole uh the pink cons logo yeah. you know just little stuff like that that's that's true to them the pink star like all those things man i i really appreciate it and shout out to dow tone wheels too for real out of um theories of atlantis, theories of atlantis. yeah yeah trevor thompson was in the video alexis sablone jamal williams aaron harrington i think it's really rad that they've been working with jamal williams for so long yeah um, and keep it true to their roots of like exactly. people that have been skating in their shoes that made them legit in skateboarding. In skateboarding, yeah. right. That's the thing, man. We, we touch on it all the time. Big brands come into skateboarding and if it's done in a foul way or a way that's inauthentic, it's going to show. You know yeah. what I mean? Like there's no way around, especially the way that we can sniff things out nowadays. Like it's, you can't come in and fake it. But when you come in and you stay in your lane and you stay with the ones that got you to where you are and you listen to what they're saying and what yeah. they're wanting to implement, that's how you, you know, you stand the test of time. And it's, it's really dope. They have people like Scott Mackey over there. Like yeah. shout out Mackey, man. Like just the, the people that are in those positions are there for a reason. For sure, dude. That's actually a really good, so Roger just brought it to our attention. Like the, the brands that have come into skateboarding were actually kind of chosen by skateboarders because the shoes were functional for what was necessary at that time. Yeah, well, at that time too, there was no skateboard shoe companies, right? Really. And yeah. so skaters had to go find their own shoes. Yeah, they could. We could. We had board companies and wheels and yeah. stuff like that, but no shoes. We had to go. Skateboarders had to go find them. Yep. And the pros did, and that's how they they loved those shoes. Absolutely. And then they connected with those brands. These big companies that are you know. Trying to infiltrate skateboarding, they're not. They're not. They're. They're. They've been a part of skateboarding this Absol whole time. Absolutely. Yeah. They might not have been in skateboarders yeah. that started it, but the people right. that are running the skate programs there exactly. now are skateboarders. Exactly. And yeah. the fact that they have the ability to keep a lot of our favorite skateboarders' careers alive. Yep. That says something as well. You know. Totally. Like, it, it's not about coming in and taking dollars from skateboarding. They're also giving skateboarders the opportunity to continue chasing their passion and being able to live off of that. For sure. I remember seeing Kenny Anderson skating these oh my back in the day. Dude, yes. Yeah, like, you, you know, like... Dude, Kenny Anderson, Jamie Fortune, Jerry Fowler, like you oh, said. Yeah. Like, there was so many back then that it, it just, it had a feel, and it's, obviously, it's transformed to what it is now, and it works. It's not, it's not about being a chameleon to just try and fit in and try and, like, fake the funk. It's about having a real identity, knowing who you are, knowing who your writers are and what they're gonna want and being able to cater to that by keeping your same true identity and not not wavering from that. Like it's funny how, you know, you got Vans and Adidas and Nike and Converse. Isn't it funny? They just go back to their staples yep. and that's what works. Yep. That's where right, right here. Like I mean you see Alexis Sablone skating in these yep. and stuff like that. Like like Alexis Sablone is OG, but like seeing her in these just makes sense. Exactly. Again, it, it's it, classic. It's classic, it, yeah. and she's she's had a very incredible skateboarding career, and now her style, I, I can see her in some vintage jades. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean? like, yeah, vintage jades. <laughs> I mean, uh, she has one of the best switch flips I've ever seen in, in the my game. Life. Yeah, across and the board. I love watching her skate flat ground, but yep. it's it's rad to see a big company like Converse to go and do a of collab with a wheel company, a yep. skateboard wheel company. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's like getting grassroots into the skateboarding exactly. world, right? And that's the thing, man, knowing knowing what collaborations are going to work and also being okay with the the idea being presented from somebody on the inside and be like, "Hey, we should actually do something with these guys. They have their finger on the pulse. It, yeah. It'll be really dope." And then they create dope visuals around it. The marketing is incredible. Like it's just Bro, it's a no-brainer, and, and to have people in a brand like Converse that, again, been around for decades, 
and having them be okay with doing something like that and giving the stamp of approval and just like, hey, yeah, take the logo off the back, put yours there. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Let's, 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 how can we make this an official collaboration? And you can't take away from the greatness that it is. Obviously, like I said, Legends, Dr. J, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, uh, all the way to Felix, and Felix Arguez and Shani and just everything that they have now. Like the timeline is there and the greatness has always been there. And dude, yeah. I couldn't be more stoked for, like I said, a brand like Dial Tone to get their shine and get their love and, you know, have a have a piece of history right here. I get jealous sometimes. I work for Soul Tech <laughs> and I get a little jealous. I tell these guys all the time, I'm like, man, I, w I just want to wear some shoes sometimes. Bro. But, like, I, you know you know what I mean? Like, I'm just a fan of skate shoes. Yeah. I'm not really a fan of, like, all shoes, I'd say. That's respectable. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, like, I'm a fan of skateboard shoes that I'm just, like... That's just my, you know yeah, what I mean? I get and that. So this is, this is iconic silhouette for me, and I'm super stoked. That Converse is recognizing their heritage and, right. and working with it. Yep. But what they did, dude, they took the classic silhouette, and they just added some f things to it to make it a little more comfortable and better for skateboarding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they added a little bit of foam in the sock liner, and then they also did the foam insert for your, your insole. So, I mean, again, when it's a shoe like this that's so slim and so iconic in its shape, you don't want to... Like, you don't want to mess with that too much, you know what I mean? But obviously being, the way I think of it too is sort of like with Vans, they have the authentic, then they have the era. The okay, era's yeah. got a little bit of puff around the sock liner, it's a little bit beefier, but it's still like, put them side to side, you can tell the differences, but from the untrained eye, most people probably wouldn't know. I feel like that's what they've done with this one as well. Because they've done that with other sil silhouettes in the past, like the um, Chuck Taylor and the yep. Jack Purcell. Yep. They, they just took wow, those look shoes. look at you! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was a fan of those shoes growing up, but like, I, you never would skate them back then. Right. Because yeah. they were so thin. Yep. If you actually tried out an original, original pair of Chuck Taylor's or Jack Purcell's, Dude. they are thin. It's flimsy. It's There's flimsy nothing and to thin, it. And yeah. people were playing basketball in that Bro. shit, or playing tennis or something. I can't believe that, man. Like the amount of ankle rolls that would have gone down. And your down, feet like, is like a... insanely sore oh, after. So gosh. they just added a lot of technology to it. That, that's not like crazy technology. So yeah. it's it's comfort. It's modern day tech to yeah. yeah to be more comfortable and be a better performing shoe. Yes. That's really what it is. It's what it is and I think, you know, they they did it with the other silhouettes so they just added it to yeah. another one of theirs. So yep. they did a great job with it. I tried them on, they're super comfy. Yes. I think it's cool because these shoes aren't like they're not wild in color. Nah, like, not at all. Not at all. It's a classic, and this is a nice like fall color too, as the seasons are changing a little bit. Yeah, you know, yeah. like I do have a pair. I will be rocking these. So Kelly, you can you can like live vicariously. I'll just let you tell me how they look, I'll and tell, then I'll yeah, be like, yeah. all right, cool, man. I, I take word for it. Yeah, but no, nah, this is this is one that you you'll be stoked to look down on if you if you get yourself a pair. It definitely has um, some elements to it that are nostalgic that remind me personally of you know yesteryear. Uh, but updated for today's modern times, and you can't go wrong, man, at all. Yeah, classic shoe, perfect for skateboarding, just made for it. So Boom. go, go, uh, you know, your local skate shop again. Go to your local skate shop go and check them out. Shop. Support, your, support your favorite skateboarders. Support buy their boards and also buy their shoes too. And buy their shoes. Buy their fucking shoes, buy dude. Right now. Why are you still here? Yeah, just go. <laughs> go. Alright, I'm, I'm gone.